be something more self-organized. So that anything that is coming in from here, to first evaluate it and find out whether it is naturally acceptable or not, before allowing it to pass inside. So when somebody says, come first in class, then you will say that, you know, you will be able to evaluate it and say that coming first in class is not my natural acceptance. Understanding everything is my natural acceptance. So I can decide myself what I want to do. Or somebody says, you know, that person talks so badly about you. You, know, you should go and tell him. Yeah. Then you can evaluate that this feeling of disrespect is not naturally acceptable to me. So I will you know, not indulge in this program. But the other person is hurt by some action that I did. So I talk to that fellow and find out you know, what happened, what I did wrong. I will correct it. What else will I do? Right? I will keep my relationship. I will ensure respect in myself for the other person. So that is naturally acceptable. Instead of going and shouting back at that fellow. So whatever is coming in from outside, I will pass it to my natural acceptance. And then this process I can find out, you know, how I can become more self-organized or you know, swatantra. If that's what I want to do, right? That's what I want to be. So I'm sure that this is what I want to be. Then I'll make a plan for it. If this is what I want to be, this is what I want to get, then I don't have to make a plan for this. They are doing quite fine. Then I'll start counting this. Okay, so that is this exercise two. If you do these two exercises for yourself and for your with your family, it will be quite revealing. <coughs> Lot of things are there like you know, I'm getting these physical facilities for my family, is what our assumption is. And like example, that triple IT example. You know, you work for two hours extra, four hours extra, and you know you get five thousand rupees more. Two hours extra and five thousand rupees more. Almost all the families said no. And these are families, they are getting, you know, 6,000, 8,000 a month. So they said no, we want, they, for them, they can see without being, you know, so articulate that my the time of my spouse is more important than physical facility. Okay. I feel that uh, this uh, desire uh, listing has to be done twice. First, before starting this workshop, and then once after completing the workshop, yeah. so as to find that whether the desire is uh, uh, alike uh, because of this workshop, so that at last we can talk to others also. <coughs> Yeah, okay. You know in yourself that's enough. You know. There's no need for us to you know, drive the point. Even now, we can see this. That is enough. Yeah, that is all right. That, that's not very important. It's not very important. What is important is what to do now. What do I do now? If I don't know that, I only find out to second decimal place where you know what the imbalance is there. So no use. What to do? If we are clear about that, then we'll work on that. If we are not clear about that after doing all the analysis, then what is the use? So we don't suggest actually doing that. We we'll never do that. You can find out for yourself. And then make your own plan. Because you have to live your own life. 
You have to decide your own participation. Participation is essentially what to do. What to do as a human being? I have to decide myself. It's a function of my understanding. It is not a function of some book or some, you know, somebody else. You can have something, but I will decide myself. And if I don't have the clarity, I will make mistakes. I will make mistakes and I will not be able to sort of discuss with anybody who comes up with some other proposal. And I will not be able to transfer it to my children. That is for sure. Like this question that we want to nurture our body. We want this health in the body and we want to nurture our body. That is it. Healthy body. This is naturally acceptable. Now, in tradition we have assumed that, you know, having roti and sabji and dal in India is the right sort of food. But we are not able to tell our own children, don't eat this, you know, this processed Maggi and all sorts of things. Right? Not nurturing for the body. It is tasty, but it is not nurturing for the body. The priority, we are not able to tell them. First priority is nurturing, second priority is taste. What do you think? We are able to tell them or not? We are not able to tell them. Why? Because we are not, because it's not coming from here, it is coming from that preconditioning. You, know, you cannot pass on preconditioning. You cannot be successful in that, number one. And two, unless we are able to self-explore ourselves, we cannot start self-exploration in children. They will not listen to preconditioning. They will not listen to do's and don'ts. They want reason and they want the reason of what is right and not what not to do. If you see your daily conversation, you will find out how many times you tell ch children what not to do. Don't stand here, don't do this, you know, don't make noise. You will have a long list of what not to do. You tell them what to do, other than do your homework, eat your food, brush your teeth. <laughs> They just want this thing. You like you are saying, I want meaning in my job. Where is it? Change my job. Change job for meaning. I want to do something meaningful. My child also wants to do something meaningful. What we are doing is telling them what not to do instead of what. <laughs> so it is start looking at that, paying attention to that, spending time with them. Yeah. Okay, the third part of this exercise is activities of self and activity of body. And activity of both self and body. So I'll leave the conclusions here. The desires are to be set on the base, basis of our need. This sounds like you know, do and don't. But what is naturally acceptable to you, you can find out. Desires that are coming from your self-verification, desires coming from preconditioning, or desires coming from sensation. Okay, if you have understood that, you know, what these three things mean, you can decide yourself. I am not going to prescribe that, you know, it should come from here, should be this or should be that. You know? We can suggest or we can propose what the reality looks like. No? For your self-verification, for you to explore within yourself, understand it yourself, then decide yourself. What would be the right thing to do? That I give you the answer or you are able to or capable of finding the answer yourself?
So we'll do the third uh, exercise. So we'll see. Activity and find out whether it is activity of L, I, body, or four. Yeah. So let's see what are the activities.
Yeah, see, these activities of the self, like this thinking process, thinking that is going on, all this imagination that is going on. Can you stop it? No. Continue. You can observe it. You know, when you are sick, the question is that you know, when you are not well, when you are sleeping, is this going on or not? Does it need rest or it is going on all the time? This imagination, is it going on all the time or does it need rest? from time to time. Okay, try try to stop your thinking. Try, let's try this experiment. Can you stop breathing? Can you hold your breath? For some time you can hold your breath. The question was can you hold your breath? Yeah. So answer is yes or yeah, you can hold your breath. So you can try to hold your breath, you can find out whether it is possible or not. Okay, so the body is not deciding on its own to breathe or not to breathe, you are allowing it to you know, do that. That you can observe. Okay. Now try this, try to stop thinking. More thinking. Start thinking more. Many times I try for meditation. Yeah, so what we can do, what we get tired, what we get mentally tired, what is mentally getting tired, if we are thinking about contradiction. If we have contradiction in our thinking, we get tired. Right? In fact, you pass that tiredness to your body also. And you will observe that in the as your first day you might have been more tired going home. Second day, third day, you'll find that your body is also not as tired as <laughs> you know. So if you have contradiction in your thinking, then you get tired. You want to think about some things which are harmonious. So when you get tired of your office, when you go back home and switch on T V. You are still thinking, so you can observe yourself. It's very interesting, in Triple IT, one of the students, he said that this question is problematic, that thinking is going on all the time. There is problem in your question. It is like asking this question that, is the light inside the fridge always on or only when the door is open? <laughs> So he said that your question is like that. Whenever I look inside, it is on. I can conclude that it is always on. <laughs> so, Ganeshji said, you know, it is very simple. To find out whether the light is on or off, when you open the door, you sit inside the fridge and close the door and find out. <laughs> the good thing is that you are already sitting inside yourself. You can find out. It's not like so hard as finding out about the fridge. They can find out. What is that? Yeah. But you don't need to do that with yourself, you know, you can find out. You are already, already sitting inside yourself, find out. Whether this is going on all the time or not. Whether your imagination is going on all the time or not. What do you think? When you are Sick. Your body is in bad shape. Right? Are you thinking or not thinking? In fact, you might be thinking more. When will I get well? You know, why didn't this fellow come? All that will happen. Yeah? So you can observe that. The important thing is, don't assume what I am saying also. So observe it for yourself. Okay. Yeah. Praying. What is it? An activity. Yeah. Essentially, an activity of self. <laughs> and you are using the body for some expression. Some, some, some sitting posture, you know, some words that you might be saying. Some. So you are doing this 
and you are doing this, so maybe it should be put over here. I and body. Play also both. Play also both. <coughs> you know. Okay, thinking. Thinking is self. Thinking is happening in the self. So most of these activities are both dreaming. And is that dreaming going on only during the night or during the day also? Always going on. <laughs> like was being discussed, you know, how many times you take off? That is nothing but you know, dreaming. You can actually ask yourself in the last five minutes, what did I think of? All the things that I thought about, can I write it down? Uh, because state of mind is like this. We can sort of sort it out. Then we can say what we thought about, what was the conclusion. Then we can come out of this unconscious sort of state, being more conscious of what is going on inside us. It is happening inside us, it is not happening somewhere outside. Okay, drinking, smoking, talking, dancing, teaching, reading, watching TV, laughing, breathing. Okay, breathing. It's an activity of the body. Okay. But it is happening with your consent. Whereas, if you take this playing or playing. It is an activity which actively involves the body and the self. Whereas, an activity like breathing is an activity of the body, but it is going on with your consent. You can take another example of this flowing of the blood that is happening inside the body or digesting the food that is going on inside your body. Okay. Once you eat something, you get the taste, the self gets the taste of it. The rest of it is happening at the level of the body. If that food is nurturing for your body, it will nurture your body. If it was tasty but not nurturing, what will happen? You know, your body will tell you, you know, I am getting indigestion, I am getting constipation, I am getting some. <laughs> something. All that. Okay. Okay. This doing nothing. <laughs> 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 yeah, exactly. That's why. What does that mean? Are you breathing while you are doing nothing? Or you stop that? You are breathing, you are thinking of doing nothing. But you are doing something. So this is... Uh, I have to say what does mean? You leave this. Lying, dying. I don't know if I have written the spelling correctly. What dies out of these two? What ceases? Body. Dying is essentially ceasing of the body. As you discussed, the self is an entity which is continuous in nature. This body is material which is temporary in nature. So dying is essentially to do with the seizing of the body's activity. This part is not there and its activities cease. 
So all these activities that are activities of the body, these activities, and these activities, these two activities, ceasing, dying means these two activities will cease to be. This activity will continue to be. That is what dying means. Yeah. See, the brain is part of the body. Brain is essentially part of the body. And the what is function of the brain? Okay. So, what is the brain doing? It is taking all the information from the body in terms of sensation and making it available. And it is up to the self to go and read this or not to read it. For example, I am saying something. Whether to pay attention to what I am saying or to pay attention you know, to your imagination and not pay attention to what I am saying is your decision. To so read what is written on the board here or to you know, see the curtain is your decision. To pay attention or not to pay attention is your decision. So you can observe, you know, suppose you are playing some sport, something, you get hurt. Yeah? You are so engrossed in that playing that you don't even pay attention to that. Those of you who play sports would have had some occasion like this that you got hurt while playing and you are not paying attention to that. And after the game, after you, whatever conclusion of the match you won or lost, after that then you see, oh my god, so much blood is coming out, you know, and then you faint. <laughs> Isn't it? Who would have seen this? <laughs> what is happening? They are not paying attention to this body is telling you that you know I have got hurt and you know, this paining, but I am not paying attention to it. So this self, the body is making, the brain is making all this available to the body, uh, to the self, whether to read it or not is up to the self. I want to pay attention or not to pay attention is my decision. What to pay attention to, what not to pay attention to, that is also my decision. So self, the brain is making all the information available for the self to read. And what is the self passing back through the brain is essentially some instruction. And what it is getting from the body through the brain is sensation. That is also information. Both instruction and sensation is information. So as far as the self is concerned, it is its choice whether to pay attention to the sensation or not to pay attention to the sensation. A lot of people tell me, you know, that we spend you know a lot of time thinking about food and making food. But when we are eating food in front of the TV, we don't even realize whether it is more salt or less salt or what. So it's up to us what sensation to pay attention to. Or to pay attention to the sensation of the taste on the food or to pay attention to the TV sensation right that I am. It's up to me. But both sensations are available to me. They are in front of me. I can pay attention to this and that or just to this, more attention to that. That is my choice. So that is what is happening between the body and the self. Yeah. Uh, when you are discussed about the dying activity, of dying uh, under the activity, you said the body dies, and it seemed to me like that self remains permanent. And my doubt here is <coughs> if the self is permanent, then from the ages, people have been dying, people have been uh, born again, 
and the condition here is if self remains permanent and the body dies, then maybe a century ago the population of world would have been around two crore. Now it has almost reached five plus crore. If self is remaining permanent, then